So as I am here pumping, this is my compression pump. This is what the lowers look like. I have to also do it for my entire upper body post the surgery. I have lipedema and I had lipedema reduction surgery. It's a fat storage disorder. Fat becomes diseased, fibrotic and dense, painful. People experience varying levels of pain. Most oftentimes they don't even realize it because they've just normalized it. You only have your own lived experience. Yada, 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 does not respond to diet or exercise. I don't care what you might think, this is a real thing. If you go to a surgeon that does not specialize in lipedema reduction surgery, you can really mess yourself up. I have a video all about how to choose your surgeon. After this last video, I knew that I have been getting smaller and because of my history with eating disorders, I have not been reading comments because I know how quickly that disordered voice can take over. At the same time, it's important to remind myself and others as I spread awareness why this surgery is medically necessary. I was uploading a screenshot of the dance I did today to my like to know it. I was tagging jeans. I added it to my jeans collection and right there was a side by side of the last time I had posted something about jeans and my knees, I'm gonna start crying. No matter how disordered my eating got, how much weight I lost, that dense fibrotic fat around my knees just would not go away. And it started making it so that I couldn't do my Peloton anymore. I couldn't ride my bike, walking for any distance of time, going to the amusement parks, my hips, my knees, my ankles. Everything was starting to hurt. And look at this. Can you see? The difference, I mean, how do you not? No matter how much diet or exercise you do, in areas that you have lipedema, they might get smaller, like you will lose the regular healthy fat in those areas, but the diseased lipedema, like in the upper arms and by the knees, you can see those little pads, those pockets, it doesn't, it doesn't go away, it doesn't respond. I know that before and afters can be really, really triggering but have I noticed an increase in mobility since my surgery? Oh my gosh. I can go up and down the stairs without knee pain. I can get up out of bed without knee pain. I can walk like long distances without knee pain. And this is just the beginning.